Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, it's John and Pam and PA with a video. Just got done watching uh, a couple of the videos from people saying that thrift stores are dead. And that you can't make any money on eBay. Which is pretty sad. Um, we had uh, two, actually, four sales so far today on our eBay stores. Uh, we put two out already. We had a t-shirt and uh, something else. I remember what it was. It was two things we put out after I got home from work today. And we got sales for tomorrow. We got two DVDs to sold tonight so far. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're doing pretty good. Maybe I'll show you those right away. Yeah. Uh, this one was I just got not too long ago. Um, no One Lives. Uh, I sold this for $8. And this one sold for uh, $10.54 because I actually need to charge shipping on it. But they were willing to pay it, so don't let the devil in. So, granted, I'm not making a million bucks, but. And these aren't from a uh, thrift store, these are from Family Video. <coughs> I paid a dollar each for them. Yeah. <coughs> Those will be going out tomorrow morning. If you're one of the people that bought them and you watch us, then thank you for buying them. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, they're saying thrift stores are dead, and that's, that is a bad thing, and people can't sell anything on eBay. And I just wanted to say that, you know, that a lot of times people are trying to buy things for a dollar or two dollars. Then they bring it home and they take pictures of it and they put it up on eBay for 25, 30, 40 bucks. Well, that might be why it's not selling. You paid a dollar for it. Why are you trying to get 40? Maybe it's worth 40. <clears throat> New. But if you look at the comps on it, everybody else is selling for 25 and you can't figure out why you can't sell it. Well, I mean, that's why you can't sell it. Those DVDs, I put them up there and I look at the prices that they're selling for, the prices they sold for, mm -hmm. and I kind of go somewhere in the middle because I want to sell mine now. Right. Not at Christmas time. And we have a small, small two-room apartment and we can't, you know, fit a whole lot in here. We got 800 pieces of clothing and we got yeah. the entire kitchen is full of boxes of stuff I'm trying to sell. <laughs> we got to get this stuff out of here. You know, we got to have, uh, we walk in the door, we, we got to walk around things because there's so much crap in here. <laughs> but... We bought more today. Yeah, we bought more. Thrift, thrift stores might be dead, but we found a bunch of stuff on the body. We found a whole bunch more. <clears throat> so we'll show you what we got here. So we went to um, Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. And Marquette here. And uh, receipts in the bag. And the color was uh, pink, pink and, and yellow. Yeah, pink and yellow. That's the other one. The receipt. Mm -hmm. We paid seventeen seventy six. Here's the other one. Yeah, there it is. And everything is pink and yellow, so that would, so they were uh, like two bucks a piece. Yeah, well, the the, the long sleeve shirts are four dollars. The short sleeve shirts are two dollars. Mm-hmm. So everything was half price except for the hats. The hats were a dollar. Okay. This is cute. <coughs> mm -hmm. And you explain. Oh, Sonic. Let's see it. There's uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And. uh... Got the thing on the bottom that used to be part of the game when you. That's cool. When you played the game, you saw the, the squares you jumped around on and stuff. Um, this is a fairly new hat, and it's never been um, bent or anything, so it's still fairly new. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing for some reason. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's a snapback, and I didn't look up anything because it was so cheap. But I might just end up keeping it because I like Sonic. But I'm gonna try to sell it first. Yeah. Uh, whenever I try to keep something for myself, it always sells. So. Um, We'll see if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. Mm -hmm. You see me wearing it in an upcoming video, that means I kept it. Okay, and here's another one. <coughs> this yep. is, uh, who's this now? LA. This is a baseball hat. Could be Los Angeles. Is it Dodgers? Yeah, Dodgers. Yep. So mm -hmm. this, this is a, a, fit, a fitted hat, it's not, it's not back. It's made by uh, 5950. And I do take it back that I didn't look anything up. I did look, I did look up similar hats to this one. Um, I forgot about it until just now. And uh, there's used ones going for like 22 to $30. So I figure grab for a dollar. Um, I probably won't put up for that much. I'll probably put up for like eighteen ninety nine, eighteen eight, And hope I get it. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Yep. And there is some men's clothes in here, but they're most women's. Yep. Okay. And uh, this is uh, Alfred Donner. Now, and it's 18W, of course. And it's a really good size. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, it's easier if I can. Yeah, 
Yeah, she unstopped them all when she took off the hanger, though. Yeah. So, just bear with me a minute, and I'm going to hmm. see if I can get that through. I don't know if I can get it through there or not. Yeah, she took it off. Hmm. I don't know here. My fingers are not too big. Not through there. Okay. So this is, I'll show you this, this way, here. But this is a really, it's a really pretty print. Mm -hmm. And now, the idea of this, of me getting this, was because uh, Lindy said that she wasn't afraid to sell Alfred Dunner. So I figured, well, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to, you know, try it too. Mm -hmm. So this was, there's a lot of other Alfred Dunner but they were different colors, and they were really pretty sweaters. And but this was yellow, so I happened to got this, and it was, it's kind of like a, a sheer sheer blouse. See through it. Yep. We've sold Alfred Dunner before. Yeah, so I feel well. It's pretty pattern, and somebody can you know dress up. And if this was bigger. I'd probably wear this. It's for, actually got a, a look of like fall to it. Yeah. It looks like falling leaves. Yeah, it, it's really pretty. Hmm. Okay, so we'll give that a try. Yeah. And these two I'm going to do together because they're basically the same shirt. There's different colors. But, uh, I'll grab that one. Yeah. They're uh, both larges and they're both American Eagle. Which is still, you know, in, a long, in itself, you know, large American Eagle long sleeve is good. But they're also Pearl Snap. Oh yeah, right here is a Pearl so Snap. The Pearl Snap on them. Now, they might be women's now that I look at them because the pearls are on a different side, but either way, um, they're a good size and they're a good good brand. Large. And they're a long sleeve shirt that somebody might want to wear to school or uh, like down south if they have like the rodeos and stuff, they might want the pearl snap shirts. Or if you just want a cool looking shirt. Mm hmm. But I'll figure out what gender they are and what they are when they go up. And so this one's in a brown and that's in a blue, but otherwise they're the same shirt. Oh, so what, what side do the buttons go on then? I'm not sure what the snaps. Um, I think it might be a men's now they look at it again. Because I remember when I snapped stuff myself, I pushed the button in to the right side. So, I think they, has a, they are a men's. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Oh. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll find out for sure before I list them. I actually, I listed a shirt last week in a men's category, which actually women's. And yeah. So, I bought it and wanted to hurt it. Okay. <laughs> so and then, this is a... Uh, I don't want to get this is a uh, juicy couture. Um, we do have a few up there. Hmm. Now, so if you want to, you want to. Well, this is going to be up there. I don't know. Uh, uh, we have to put off our um, our photographing until next week. Yeah. Because so, we have some company coming over this uh, weekend. The, so. the, the, these are all. These are previews of what's going to be coming. Well, of course. So this is a juicy couture, and hmm. it's got a really pretty animal print on it. I thought, it, I thought it was cute. And then it got the, right there, it's got, it says, well, yeah. But, uh, we do have some up there already, so, you know. We have uh, one. We have one. We've sold everything we put up there to scooter. Yeah, so. The only thing we didn't sell was one sweatshirt that had a broken zipper. Mm hmm. So, I think I actually sold that too. So, not a good one. Uh, Eco Unlimited. This is a brand that we've had before. Not too often, but sometimes. Uh, yeah. With the uh, winter coming, we're getting more into the long yeah, sleeve. Yeah, we're starting to get fall stuff now. So this is like a thermal shirt. So not a bad looking shirt. It's got on a sleeve tear too to spill out. So we'll probably say that too. There's a spill out sleeve, and the sleeve mm -hmm. says um, "Unlimited," which is what Eco is unlimited. Mm -hmm. so. And I know we got we got a lot of this brand, but for a while it's got a nice and nice uh, print on it. That's mm -hmm. an old navy. Mm -hmm. So uh, the print is what what uh, really counts. I don't know. I guess people, you know, anything plain. But you know, this had a had a, have a nice pattern on it. So flowers. Oh yeah. So and that was a this was pink, also, mm -hmm. yeah. and that was a size large. Okay. Well, this is a sweatshirt, looks like. 
Oh yeah. It is a Falls Creek. It, it's almost like brand new. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's a nice thing. It's also got a flower on it, or rose. It's a hoodie. And I looked and see that there's no, no armpit stains or right. no holes or, and the zipper works real good. That's good. So we've had Falls Creek before, and some have sold, some have it. It's just one of those brands that sometimes goes. This being with the flower on the thing right there, will give it a, a little more of a push. And it being a hoodie, the fall kind of people like hoodies. Mm-hmm. You also wear in the wintertime under your jacket. Yep. And keeping in with the category, um, this is a Kato. Another, like, a sure, sure blouse. And it's got a, also got a nice fall look to it. Mm-hmm. The color, though. It's got a pretty good ball color to it and nice little pattern on Oh, look at the sleeves on it. Look at the sleeves, how cute they are. Yeah, bell sleeves? Bell sleeves, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. I thought they were called ruffle. Oh, well, they are ruffle, but they're, they're, they're also, ruffle. They also have a bell. Huh. Ah, <laughs> that's cool. So, here comes fall, I guess. Fall is you can coming. Also, you can also use words like dollman and uh, you can use bass sleeves if you want to, but they're not really bass sleeves. Yeah. Uh, that's what we got today. It's not a little lot, but, you know, like I said, we have over 400 pieces of clothing right now. Yeah. Add and more to it. We're trying to saw. We got stuff that was in the last video photographed, which is why you saw the, the photographs at the end. Yep. And uh, those are going to go up probably the next couple of days. I got Friday, so I got some time. I might be able to get them up there. And also tomorrow morning, I'm get not those listed. working until noon. Oh. <laughs> but oh. Oh. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. We're uh, we're looking to make money. That's our idea. We want to make money when we sell stuff on eBay, and we're trying to help people by showing what we have. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, we're not going to put this shirt up there for fifty bucks. No. I mean, it's not worth that. It wasn't even worth that new. This is probably like a twenty dollars shirt new, so we're probably going to charge twelve bucks for it now. But if somebody offered nine, I'd probably think about it. Not mm -hmm. saying I would take it right away. Yeah. Um, if somebody offered me four. I'm definitely not going to take it because that's barely the shirt. Yeah, I know. Because, you know, we we get that all the time. We put a shirt up for like $25 and we offer just four bucks for it. So basically they want to pay the shipping. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, because we, we charge free shipping on everything and free returns. And I've had it happen before where I put something up for a dollar with free shipping, hoping for more than one bid, and end up having to get the thing returned. You know, uh. it's just, and it's just uh, the way it is these days with the free returns, you can't really... We had zero returns for like three years. We started doing free returns and we've had like, uh, like four in the last couple months. So it's not horrible. I mean, a lot of people have more than that. But again, we don't charge, you know, $40 for a shirt that's only worth 20. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people are saying, you know, my eBay store can't make any money. There's no other, there's no money out there. I've got to pay too much for the stuff. And, you know, which is, which is true. I mean, Goodwill is, is, you know, our Goodwill is pretty good. I hope it stays that way. Mm-hmm. Um, they most of their shirts are four bucks. Um, their t-shirts for men are a dollar fifty nine or four dollars, depending mm -hmm. on which ones they are. They have a distinction between the basic t-shirts and the uh, dress t-shirts, but their basic is the same thing. Um, this one would be a basic t-shirt, but then the shirt pants got on before books. Mm. So you know, and so there's more material to this one. <laughs> um, and then they also have their boutique section, which is getting outrageous. They charge like twelve dollars yeah. for a Tommy Hilfiger. Um, uh, Tommy Hilfiger tank top, you know, but uh, sixty dollars for a basic, you know, vinyl jacket. But that's a different type of topic for altogether. Mm -hmm. Um, I've gone in there and I spent like six dollars on a remote control and sold it for twenty five. I've gone in there, spent two dollars on a camera and sold it for twenty five. And I sell it for twenty five, and everybody else yeah. selling it for thirty five, forty five, and they're sitting there forever. Well, if you mm -hmm. want to sell stuff, sell it. Don't be exactly. afraid. Exactly. Don't be afraid to sell something for ten bucks. Sure, you're only gonna make five after you after you get your money back and you pay the fees and the shipping. Hmm. That's five dollars. Do that a hundred times. That's five hundred bucks. Do it a thousand times. Five thousand. I mean, right now, if we if we took everything in our store and put it on sale for five dollars and it all sold overnight, I'd be happy. Cause that sure. would be, that'd be two thousand dollars. Sure. 
Granted, I gotta pay shipping on all that, but you know, be seven hundred things minus the three dollars each for shipping, I'd still make two thousand dollars. Yeah, huh? I'd be overjoyed. Am I gonna do that? No, but I could. <laughs> and you could too. I mean, I'm not telling you to, to drop all yeah. your prices down to nothing. I'm not telling you to, yeah. to sell all your stuff for nothing. But try it. You know, drop your prices one day. Do a instead of doing a sale, just drop your prices down. Mm-hmm. If you have washers on stuff, they'll get notified. And they might buy their stuff faster. Yeah, so you know, we're going to do the summer clearance now pretty soon here. Or we are already started. Well, in a way. Maybe one more month, maybe. We're being a little bit pickier on what we buy. Yeah. Um, we're not just buying any old thing that we could put in a bag for 40 cents each. Yeah. I and mean, we're not going to bag sales as much as we used to. We'll still go to them. And we'll still, right. buy, we'll still find stuff. But mm -hmm. instead of coming home with four or five bags, we come home with like one. Maybe two. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a bag sale last week in, uh, in, in our store that we don't normally uh, tell you where it is. I didn't go to it. Yeah. Because we didn't need the clothing. Uh, there was a half price sale in Harvey this whole week. We didn't go to it. Because we just don't need it. No, because there's something out there. Summer clearance, so they're it's, getting it's, ready for oh, fall. It was, it was everything in the store. Yeah. But, um, you know, we went to Salvation Army today because we had the time. I got done at 10 o'clock this morning and... I, yeah, been there a while. Uh, I bought some uh, stuff to come home here, and we didn't have anything for lunch, so we went out and had lunch, stopped dinner. Mm -hmm. Came back here, and I laid down for three hours. Yeah. I've, huh. been, I've been up since uh, four in the morning, so I'm a little tired. <laughs> uh, but now I'm, now I'm up. And then we got we got home tonight, and we got a call from uh, somebody telling us that our computer was being hacked, and we needed to give them $250 for a program in order to fix it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, if you ever get those phone calls, don't do it, because it is a scam. No. If something happens to your computer, you, you're more ha if if you do get a virus or you do get something happening that doesn't turn on, or somebody does hack you, bring it to a local computer place and fix it. Somebody you know. Don't don't trust the guy you can barely understand on the phone telling you that your computer is being hacked. And after you get done telling him we don't even have a computer, after you oh get done my. telling him that you, you you know you're being scammed, and they're still trying to say it's not a scam. They're still trying to get you to spend. Couldn't understand the word he said. A whole bunch of money. I mean, I can understand that people can't understand me most of the time. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with that. It's just the fact that I know it was a scam. Right. And we looked at the phone number after it was done, and it says right on the internet that over and over again, scam, scam, scam. You know, so, I mean, we knew what it was. I was going wow. to try and record it and play along with them, but we just we didn't uh, get the uh, phone in time. He hung up on us. Um, but I was telling him all kinds of stories about how I didn't have a computer and how I didn't have any hands and how I was blind. and So it didn't matter. He still wanted me to, he still wanted to give me my credit card numbers. Like, I just hold my damn my credit card. You talk about me. So, <laughs> anyway, you gotta watch people out there nowadays. Yeah, that's our that's our story. We're sticking to it. Yeah. Um. So anyway, that's uh, stuff that's going to be going up next week. Um, this coming Tuesday, I think we have time for some pictures. I'm not sure. This weekend we can't do it because we have our granddaughter coming and our and yeah. granddaughter. And, um, we're gonna be taking care of the granddaughter overnight, so we're not gonna be able to do any pictures and stuff out here because she'll be here. <laughs> And we're looking forward to that. And we're happy to see her. Huh. And um, we should be more often. But you can do what you can do. I mean, I know there are places that we probably should be going more often, too. We end up staying home all the time. Yeah. Or going to work all the time. Yeah, we, I don't know. We haven't gone anywhere. I mean, yeah, I know. the closest I, uh, other good well, we, could, we could go to is Iron Mountain. But that's like... Yeah. We're having a little problem. Have drive. I had a little problem with the car when I had the oil change last... Yeah. Uh, Last so weekend, we can't go very far. I don't want to go too far because they said my oil pan might uh, explode on us. So, um, don't want to be too far away from home when it explodes. So, anyway, uh, plus my feet are kind of numb and I think I might have another broke break in my foot. So, that'll be a story for another time. Oh. Uh, if you like our video and you watched it this far, then uh, obviously you liked it. Uh, give us a thumbs up and let us know why. Like our stories? If you, uh, <laughs> if you watched it this far and uh, didn't like it, I'm very surprised, but give us a thumbs up let us know why. And uh, hit the subscribe button when you're, when you're done watching the video, or right now, it's right right underneath the video, right down here somewhere. Yep, do and, it, do it right at the time, yeah, down below. A, and there's a bell there too that you can hit and mm -hmm. see when we have more videos. And if we ever go live, well, hopefully you're all watching, and uh, we're thankful to the 41 subscribers that hold on this long, and we're hoping for more. Uh, we jump on everybody's videos, uh, we were mentioned on Riley Riz's video last night, which was great. Uh, it was the first time in a long time they mentioned us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and... 
we were on Lindy's video, but she didn't mention us at all. And uh, in the comments, and uh, we try to jump on whenever we, whenever we see somebody that we watch because we do watch a lot of YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you don't like thrift stores, don't go to them. If you don't want to sell clothes on eBay, don't sell clothes on eBay. If you think that you can't make any money, then you probably can't because you're in a mindset that you're not gonna make any money. Well, you just gotta go out there and look. I mean, you just gotta go out there. And get you, don't a... have, you don't have to. No, you don't if have you don't, to. If, but... you if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Yeah. We want to do it. We want to show you the stuff we buy. And we sell it. We're not bragging. We're not saying we're better than you. Yeah. We're not saying we're worse than you. Yeah. We're just showing what we're doing. And, yeah. Comment below and uh, later. Later.